All right, yes, hello, this is Greg, and welcome to another one of my verb verbs. This time it's on the sad rainworm map. If you don't know the joke, welcome to the channel. I've been saying that one for a while. Um, so I will enlighten you. This is a sad rainworm. This is Python. Okay, so we have... Uh, um, there was a repository sent to me uh, about six days ago. Uh, a selection of the finest 1.18 replays. Um, wow, okay, so we have some spam going on already. We have... Uh, Gory Niche and NK Deloader. Ooh, NK. That means he's in a clan, everyone. <laughs> that means he's good. So we're going to see some very high tech and some uh, very Samami Terran play, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Okay, why are they playing Python if they're good at the game? But yeah, why not? Nostalgia, probably. Fake nostalgia. Is it real nostalgia or fake nostalgia? Because I don't have nostalgia for Brood War, okay? I am not doing that whole internet sensation thing where we all come over something that has pixels in it. Um, because this has never left my life. Yeah? I've I've stopped casting for a while, yes. I've gone to... The same thing with Quake. Quake has always been there. So, I'm not going, oh, remember fucking rocket launchers? Yeah, it was yesterday. So, no. I, I, am, I'm, I have a slight dislike of the whole, oh my god, old games, right, kind of thing going on. I, I enjoy the fact that we can introduce people to a proper game. Yes. And I will do my part in, in, in that. But I, I am, yeah, a little confuzzled by people, like, suddenly acting like they're old. You know, I'm 30, I'm not old. I've been an old man on the internet for a long time, but that was since I was, like, 18 or something. But, um, yeah. All right, we have some scouting going on. We have an SEV, seeing a hatchery, everything is fine. They still... All right, yeah. This is still, you know, of a level. The spawning pool... You could put the spawning pool near the geyser to increase flow of the, the thingy bobs, but okay, yeah, that's not fine. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. The drone scout here being a little damaged. Barracks is plopped down, so get the fuck out. Fly depot there. So, yeah. Close, but well. Close position, yeah. It's not cross position, technically. And that's all right. The Overlord doesn't really know where he is at at the moment. But yeah, we the Nandra channel has been growing steadily. So I'm really happy about that. Not the frequency of uh, free for alls hasn't really increased, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's more people not playing FFAs, which is exactly the way it's got it's supposed to be. Actually, impressed by that drone here. And uh, here's the CC and the gas coming down here now. That drone's still going, yeah, man. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be casting games with the inept because otherwise, my as a very hurtful commenter said, my lack of the game knowledge shines through. Which isn't technically true, it's just that I don't really know when to stop bullshitting and when to actually apply knowledge of the game. I will fully admit that I uh, got to 140 damage on the storm wrong. That's because I'm incredibly biased. This is, that bunker placement's really good, by the way. Um, I'm incredibly biased towards um, hating Protoss, so... It feels like 140 damage because Zerg units die regardless to it. But uh, except the Lurker, of course, who has 125 health and doesn't die to it. So it's 112 damage in a couple of volleys and like 8 volleys or something of 14 damage. Something silly like that. We have gas. We have two in the gas. Maybe just... Well, no, we've already passed the... Uh... Ah! The mistakes start stacking up. Yeah, We have... Um... Where's the academy, huh? Huh? Where's the academy? Okay, we've got a little bit of a scoot that has been booted. We have some more. There's a second Rax. We have plus one attack. That's going to be important. Uh, no academy yet. No factory yet. Okay, we've got the straight for the lair. So I'm thinking we're going to see some Mutalisks, huh? So that eBay is going to be quite nice as well. Uh, yeah. Might want to start thinking about that academy. There you go. And that supply depot soon as well. See, see, I'm doing it properly. 
I know this game. <gasps> I've been around this game for 20 years. I, I know about it. I know to do it. Okay, so we got the first colony for that. Yeah. It's good. actually a nice block on the drone with the drone there. Nice block on the SUV with the drone. That SUV is going to sadly stay there forever. But the drone could take it out if it wanted to. We've got some more links coming here with the lair is popped. Speed on the way. Now let's see what happens with that 200 minerals. Uh, something of 150 was built. There's probably some more things here. All right. I'm getting paranoid that I'm going to miss anything. So, yeah. SUV dieted. Ah, there we go. Here's the production, so it's definitely going to be Marine Medic, which is correct for this matchup. And no other. And don't give me your fringe builds where Eminem versus Broadus in certain situations works. Go fuck yourself, seriously. This is not good for the audience, okay? We want to give these people the vanilla experience. Okay, that's a nice little attack here. Marines, though, are going to scare off the Zerglings. Uh, yeah, this is quite exposed. And this is why Python isn't really the greatest thing, because you can't possibly block this. Zerg in this position will be able to run by. So it's one of the reasons why some of the maps, you know, eventually stop being played, because it is horrible in some in some cases, and a small technicality can cause you to completely get destroyed. So that's why Finding Spirit is one of the more balanced maps, because it's kind of fair. But, uh, yeah. So, because this, this is a lot more manageable. All right, so the Zerglings are just hit there to keep a little bit of map control, see when what, what's happening with, with Terran, when they were not is uh, going to move out. Um, this is quite unfactoriness. So we've got some fire bats for those links. It's, it's not bad, you know. One or two can really make a difference. There's a, a third way up the top there, and that spire is going to be done. So here come the mutilisks. And now we will see. Oh, that, yeah. There's only there's only two sunkens here. So this is going to be key. Flappity flap. Muta muta muta. It's actually been a while since I've seen mutilisks. It has actually. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So the, the window is slowly closing. He's flapping around with these mutilisks, not really doing much. But Darren is going to go for that push right on this time. Uh, yeah, the scan goes down. Those Tunkins are going to be late. So it's all going to be up to the micro here. Here they go. Let's see the first engagement. Ooh, there's some micro happening here. There's not a lot of damage being done. Yeah. All right. That, yeah, first mutilus has got to have to... Dude, seriously, no. You can't do it. Back off. It's going to hurt badly. Don't do it. Don't try it. Ah, it's this is scary amount of unit. Yes, okay. You back off. You back off. It's okay. But you screwed. Actually, yeah, delayed enough with losing three or four mutilisks, so your two sunken colonies can finish. That's nice. More barracks. More. Oh yeah, this is hardcore marine medic. Yeah, yay! You kill the marine. You kill even killed. A medic. You have to kill this entire group of marines to make do make good on the uh, mutilisks you're losing, but okay. We're not keeping score. These two groups are sort of split off. Yeah, okay. Warning. See, this is why you want one or two tanks. You know? Wow. Okay. And this is why... You can't, yeah, okay, there's, yeah, they're doing some damage. Where are the reinforcements? They are coming in now. A little late, but okay. This is going to get cleaned up, I think, yeah. That was interesting on, in so many ways. Because let's recap here for a moment. The mutilisks are on the field. I don't know what he what he was doing. Is, is that all you've got left by now? Yeah, it probably is because of all the stupidity. But um, he knew the Zerglings were on the map, right? He knew the Mutalisks that didn't even join the fight were there. 
Yeah, you don't need to do that with the drones. Why are you doing that with the drones? Please don't. Okay, yeah, so a lot of shit is dying here. Terran's still got a lot of value for his money. <laughs> because Marines are dirt cheap. He's got a lot of production going. He's got the two base. Those mutilists who lost at the start, you know, they're, they're a bigger deal. 100, 100 to pop, man. Okay, so we do have some Hydra, so I'm hoping... Yeah, okay. See, oof, this is where the D... The D level, the C minus level play starts showing itself. Because the timing on those Hydralisks, on, on those Lurkers even, is pretty bad. Terran should not have lost that army. He should have went in, maybe, after dealing with the Zerglings, or having some tanks from, from a distance or something. Just pepper some tanks in there. He does have the factory now. But just pure m, &M like that? This is in a proper game. Okay, yeah. I think he has lurkers now. Dude, no. Yeah, he's, he's doing it. I mean, you have to practice it. That's the thing. It, it is awful to watch. Yeah? We've, it's, it's terrible. It's horrifying. There's also no carapace. Please tell me you're doing... Oh, so now he's not doing it. Yeah, you're not going to break. That's, that, that's, Marines do one damage. Okay. He's not going to pick it off. It's a horrible thing, but mute, practicing Mutalisk Micro is one of the most grueling things that a beginning Zerg needs to do. Or a low level Zerg, because... I don't know. See, these Lings... If these Lings would have been there at the, at the ramp, that would have been great. That would have been amazing. Okay, we have some units now. Um, however, we have the Starport. We have the Barracks, okay. We have some tanks now, which is good. The timings are a little wacky, but yeah. And we can see, again, those Zerglings managed to get out. You don't want to take this fight. Because then you get, you get the fucking sandwich. Then there's Lurkers on the map. There's Lurkers up top there, which is kind of, you know... Yeah, he probably has a base there kind of thing. And you might want to, you know, invest... Oh, oh no, he's not supply blocked. Okay, but want to saturate that because I don't know how... That's the thing, you never know how long you're going to keep this. Because it's kind of a cool thing. Except Terra needs to march across the most... The hardest... Apart, apart from, like, Mutalisks, m m is, like, very fucking difficult to micro. Not very mobile. Uh, you can spread around the map, but once you're there, you're there for keeps, yeah? Taking the mineral only is a little interesting, though. I'm guessing he wants more marines. What's happening? We've got a couple of tanks, which you really need for the lurkers. We don't see the signs. Ah, here they go. Science facility is up. For the radiates, but the hive is already en route for the filers. So in that case, I think, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. More lings. Here they come. So is he going to go for the natural? I think so. I don't think he's going to try and break this. But this is going to be very difficult. Yeah. Unfortunate for the Overlord, that is going to supply block him. The Lurker is there. Yeah, tanks first. Tanks first. Let's let the tanks nibble around a little bit. And here we go. We've got some Mutalists still. We've got a lot of links. He's going to try and f for that sandwich, but he this is impossible. This is not possible for, for Zerglings or... Yeah, he's going to spread them out now. That's actually going to help the links. If they do attack, because they could take out this first, then maybe, or flank it, and take out gradually. But that little clump, that was really difficult to get me. Let's kind of in. Hero mutas, uh, and they're out. Oh. Okay, reinforcements are going to get cut off. Mutal is taking a couple of pot shots. He's sending in some more. That's actually dangerous here now. He's... Leaving his flank a little exposed. But nothing will come of that. So these locals are there at the camp forever. Plus one carapace. A little late, but okay. Because it's 1-1 one, one now. And it's probably going to go to 2-1. Right. So this is being digested slightly. But the file amount is there. First, the filers are not yet building. But yeah, he needs to do something. He needs to sandwich this army now. Because it's going to get really dangerous. That's a little... That's a little forward. 
That's a little too far forward. These links are going to get annihilated. Some damage being done. The Mutalisks there are right now just, yeah, getting rendered. These Lurkers should have been there right up, right up in the business. And now it's too late. That's not good. That is not good. Here come the... Oh, no. There's the Defilers. Get them away. Expensive units. Oh, and now he's going to push in. He's out of range of the tanks. Dude. Oh. He lost a lot of Marines there. For no reason whatsoever. Because there's a lot of Lurkers here. Oh, God. Run away. He doesn't run away, does he? Yeah, now he does. A little late. And just like that, you lose your advantage. Because now these reinforcements are queued up. They're going to be really hard. Now the first Dark Swarm, finally. Still some science vessels, but now he needs to regroup. He needs to rebuild. 100 supply to only yeah, 75 Zerg. Ooh, dude. Don't do that. But now that the Filers are in play, he doesn't have enough science vessels to deal with that. So suddenly the whole balance shifts. He shouldn't have pushed forward like that. He should have not let the, the tanks do the work. He had no solution there because there were too many Marines to move up with the Lurkers. Because they would have been shredded. And that tiny little window where the Defilers would start becoming important. But he's doing the SK, man. He's doing that SK like a fucking hero because it is the most difficult build. Okay? This is the most difficult thing. There's a Niners here now, so that technically... Could, yeah, Zerg is expanding. Terra needs to catch the fuck up. In terms of production, yeah. Yeah, he's got, he's got it banked. He's got it banked. I mean, he needs to not stop building units because he needs those reinforcements. Now he's going to go for the top here. That's going to be a good timing on this uh, because Zerg's very spread out. And these guys aren't going to do too much. Still, yeah, they take their toll, but they're still expensive units. There are... Yeah, there's a Defiler. There you go. Run the fuck away. And never leave, never come back. He's going to deny that. Lack of tanks here is really hurting. Because then you can take out the Defiler under the Swarm with a Splash. So, yeah. Here's the tank now. Let's be really careful. It's so difficult to keep him back, though, I will admit. Alright, so sneaky lings. Yeah, but this needs this needs some uh, some heavier artillery now, no pun intended. That's a good swarm. That tank is done for. More vessels. Moar Vesils. He's got another starport. He's building them as fast as he can. That lack of a third gas is going to start hurting in a minute. Well, as a second gas, because no, he's still he's got a thousand there. Because now he's going to try and keep pushing this. I, I feel like Zerg is really low on supply. He really needs to start building some more shit. The Ultralist Cavern, though. Uh, Yeah, pushing through. There's a lot. Oh, this is going to hurt. Got the control on it. It's going to look... Even running away is going to cost him. This is the problem with SK. You need to be... Your position needs to be locked down every single time. And I feel like he's not producing enough to keep up. He's not bringing down his bank. He's got these guys stranded here now, but this operation, this base is operational and working. So there's going to be a, another one there. He's going to expand there, but he's going to see this. That's not going to be enough. No. These are three carapace lings. Is he working on the attack? Yeah, he is. Damn. Yeah, that's done. Oh, we didn't cancel that. That's a shame. And now these these little shitty little cla cracklings are going to be a real pest. Wow, there's a lot of SUVs here now. Yeah, he's only mining from two bases now. This one's going to run out any second. 
36, 28. That is, that's done. And he's going to keep pushing that middle. He's got forces stranded here. But he, what he needs to do is secure this. He's now going to do that. Funny enough, a plague even. Okay. Zerg hasn't really pushed. Hasn't really done an attack. Has just whittled down SK because SK is so fucking difficult. Which, if you don't know what that is, that's the static here. So, Marines, Medics, Science Vessels, and a couple of tanks here and there. Like, fucking hardcore m, &M A couple of Firebats now and again. But it's so micro-intense. So, I can't really badmouth these guys. Because it's a really difficult tactic to do. So, props for trying it. Because it's... Zerg's got the easy... The timing is before those defilers started, you know, getting in there. Now it's just the defiler, defiler, defiler and lurker nirvana. Unless you can keep up with the vessels, but I, I see one here. I don't see enough. You need quite a lot, like almost all of your gas needs to go up in that. Because you need to pick out every single defiler and irradiate it. There you go. Do that. Because it's 150 gas per defiler, and that's what kills Zerg in the end. Wow, okay. Just not being able to keep up with the defilers. Because these both these armies hard, hard counter with each other with or without uh, the, the Dark Swarm. That's the thing. If the Dark Swarm isn't there, Terran wins. Other way around, Terra needs to retreat, loses units. The Scourge again as well, the solution to the science vessels. They are also gas intense. And of course, shit easily countered by marines. But now, here we go. Here we go. This is the push. We've got the bases operational here, but now we've got the big push here. The Dark Swarm is going to come in here. On the setup tanks, he's not retreating. And yeah. The armies were never maxed out, but this now the that now the ultralisks are here. And even without Dark Swarm, six. He's got he's got set, he's got eight damage on the Marines, and there's six <laughs> six armor on the Ultralisks. I mean, they're not even going down. Look at these two. They don't even give a shit. Half an army here. And he's now going not for the main... These, these two are a distraction. Fuck that. He's got the vessels now, though. But he's going to leave the game. He's going to quit because there's no way he can deal with that. He can't push out. He only's got the ve vessels and, yeah, production just wasn't keeping up because the macro here is brutal. So, yeah. What's the loss here? It's... Darren lost his own game. It's... The tactic is difficult, but now I'm gonna, you know, try and talk about it. Is that... It, it was lost here. It was... That, that contain was good. Then it pushed forward. Didn't have the tanks in range. The lurkers were all bunched up here. They would have They would have all died if he pushed up the tanks a little bit further. It was out, so still outside of the range with the lurkers. He pushed in with the, with the marines, got them wiped out, and that's when the defiler timing started. That's when the defilers got in there, and he didn't have the science vessels, which he has now because he didn't take a gas. Yeah, which is difficult on Python because this is a long way. This is a lot of a lot of space you need to map control, and Zerg has such an easy time with the links. I will admit. Yeah, this base was up far too long as well. We didn't get harassed. A couple of vultures, maybe, just to run by. Because these these bases were not defended, except for the three lurkers. They could have just done a little bit of a vulture run by, maybe for some, some more map control. But it's an SK Terran, so you have to, like, balance that out. It wasn't doing drops. Um, which is, again, micro-intense, but that's kind of the deal you make, you know? That's the kind of the thing you want to do. So, yeah. Zerg had an easy time when those like, when those um, defilers hit. And then it's just um, a war of attrition, really. All right. There we go. That was a bit more of a serious game. I hope uh, my 
lack of game knowledge actually uh, show, shown through here. So, all right. It's nice to see this mid-level play of people really trying, really trying. And it still has so many mistakes, but that's Brood War. You can never have a game without mistakes because there are a billion things to do wrong. And, you know, the, pe the person that does the least things wrong and fights the engine as best he can and then the, incidentally also beats his opponent, he wins. So there you go. GG.